Well, what is up everyone? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Uh, let me know when you can hear me and see me. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys on stream tonight. Uh, we're gonna be opening a bunch of stuff. We got some uh, some Pokemon battle styles. We've got some elite trainer boxes. We're gonna do the flesh and blood stuff first and then anybody who wants to stick around uh, for the, the, the Pokemon stuff can stick around. Uh, I do have some more Pokemon trainer boxes if anybody wants to pick them up uh, and we can open them on stream tonight. Uh, uh, they are at CavDanesMarket.com. I also have some more of these, I don't know, battle size. I really don't know much about Pokemon. I'm, I want to get more into it. My Pokemon experience is uh, back in the old school Pokemon. That's about it. So uh, I, I love opening stuff. I don't really care to keep it for myself though, because that's just not my game. But if, uh, if you want me to open it for you, I'd love to do that. Uh, Case Cam, say hi. Hi, Homer. Case Cam says hi. I'm super excited to be back streaming. I miss streaming with you guys. I love hanging out uh, with you. I got some interesting stuff to start out with though, uh, as we wait for some people to get in here. I got a package from our, our friend here from Corey uh, and Corey, dude, Corey, Corey says, don't be, you see that? It says, don't be a bonehead. <laughs> Corey sent me a play mat to congratulate me on, uh, bro, what happened to that? Where'd the card go? Where's the foil reject? Oh no. Oh no. What did I do with the foil reject? He also sent me a foil reject. Oh no. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where's my foil reject? Corey! Corey! <laughs> he also sent me a foil reject card. Shout out to all the rejects. Uh, <laughs> Corey and I have been uh, friends on the internet since before the YouTube channel, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, Corey sent me a massacre, massacre play mat. Corey, thank you so much, man. He heard that uh, I was missing it in my collection. I'm getting close to my collection, uh, and he sent it to me. Um, to, to just, you know, he just sent it to me. So, Corey, I appreciate you. Uh, Corey, I'm pretty sure I sold it on eBay. Corey, uh, I have a couple of first edition packs uh, that I got, I've just been saving for stuff. I'm gonna give some away in my uh, my skirmish event this weekend. So I wanna open up uh, two first edition packs of Monarch for you. I know that's like not the same value as a play mat, but Corey, these are for you, buddy. Let's get a library. Like that's the goal here. Let's pull you a library out of these packs. Let's do it. Corey, these are for you. I appreciate you. I know you, you didn't ask for any of that or anything like that, but uh, I just wanna pull a library for you. So let's hope we get it. We'll just do a little warm up pack here. I got new lighting here, guys. You like that? It also hits my face. So, you know, uh, I'm not as ugly. All right, let's come on. Come on, baby. Oh, piercing shadow veil and a glisten. All right, Corey. Come on, dude. I want something good for you, man. I want something good for you. Come on. Come on, Corey. Come on. You got to sling tacos to understand. Oh, uh, that's funny. If it's not for me, it'll definitely be a library. Uh, oh, Corey, I was hoping. Oh, man, that was weak sauce, Corey. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, nothing great for you, buddy. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried, man. I tried really hard. Uh, I also want to, uh, I, I bought some stuff this week. I just wanted to show it off because it's fun. Uh, and also because, I mean, look at this. Louis Ball and New Library, this letter was awesome and it deserved to be read on camera. I got myself my first library. I actually ended up buying it. I had to get it. Uh, I now have a complete set of Monarch first, so I had to uh, had to pick it up. And I thought it would be fun to read this little this thing. Uh, Louis, congrats, man. Now a proud owner of a library. You won't know what to do with all the women and fast cars with come that come with this kind of luxury. They're gonna be knocking at my door. Hopefully not, my wife will be upset. Oh, Louis, you know, you just got that hot library. There we go. Uh, so dude, Kyle, thank you so much. Enjoy the card. Uh, he's excited that it went to the best home possible. Kyle, appreciate you, man. Uh, lots of fun. I, <laughs> I thought that was a funny letter. Uh, and so, yeah. Yeah, the centering looks really good, Corey. It does. Uh, the, the front centering is pretty clutch, honestly. The problem is that the back centering, not as clutch. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's it's pretty good. It's not it's not horrible. It's it's pretty good. It's a little bit to that side, to the left. 
Um, so yeah, picked up my library, pretty stoked. Um, and then I wanted to say I got my cold foil commons that used to be a good deal that I bought for $75 each. They all came, uh, and I don't know, it ended up not being, I mean, I got a lot of iron hide. It ended up not being uh, a super great deal anymore because you know, the prices have tanked so much on the cold foil commons, but in the future, I still believe in the cards. Uh, and so I'm still excited to get them. Uh, I just wanted to share that like, I put a bid out and, I, and a lot of people yelled at me. A lot of people said that I was doing it wrong and that I was undercutting the market and that I was, you know, whatever. And it turns out I was very wrong. And uh, the $75 each was not a the best buy, even though I picked them up early or whatever. So I'm uh, pretty excited. The, this Halo of Illumination is so cool. I'm gonna get one of these signed by Sam Yang. I can't freaking wait. I cannot wait to get it signed by Sam Yang. So uh, I love to, you know, I don't, I don't like to show off a lot of my stuff on camera, but it seemed like a fun mail day with Corey and, uh, and some of the, uh, the other stuff, the, you know, the, the letter and stuff. So I'm excited. Let's open up some stuff. We're going to use Corey's bonehead barrier play mat. What do you guys want to do first? WTR or Monarch? First one to get it in the comment section. We'll go WTR or Monarch first. First one to, uh, to let me know what you want. WTR or Monarch first. Not Monarch First Edition, Monarch First, like Monarch, the, the first one that we opened. WTR, Max said it. Everybody, we're sponsored by Huel now. I don't know if you knew this. Um, we are sponsored by a protein shake uh, thing. We're not. It's, it's just, you know, it's just what I'm doing. But how funny would that be if I was just like sponsored? All right. WTR it is, everyone. This booster box of WTR is going to have... A heart in it. I can't wait. I haven't pulled a heart in a long, long time. I'm really excited. Uh, and we're going to pull a heart right here. Um, I told Adrian, oh, we got to put up the players here, right? Uh, I told Adrian that if I pull him, Adrian, what did we say? We said if I pull you a heart and a foil enlightened strike and a tunic in this case, if I pull him all three of those things, then I'm gonna open a box of Monarch First Edition for him. That's his, uh, that's Adrian's uh, prize for getting really good pulls, that he gets more good pulls. So uh, he, he that's, that's what his deal was. He said, Louie, actually I told him that. He didn't even ask. Chad, this is you, man. Chad, oh, that's you. You're right there, little Dorinthia. So, Ken, welcome, man, welcome. Uh, and I'm trying a new thing. We're going to hopefully be able to see the names while I'm pulling. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I'm trying to get better at this whole thing, guys. We're going to cover up the head here. Sander. Good luck, man. All right. So we got Sander in the Bravo slot. We got Chad O in the Dorinthia slot. We got James K in the Reinar slot. Adrian V in the Cracked Bobble generic WTR slot. And Sean H. We got you at Casu uh, in the Ninja slot. Uh, and then Sean, later we're going to open some Pokemon for Sean. So super excited. Let's get into WTR. Uh, hey, I want to know, like, I, I want some questions. Like, let's, let's get some stuff going in the comments today. Let's be, be, it's been a while since I've streamed. And, uh, you know, let's, let's get some stuff going. Like, let's, let's ask it up. Let's be, uh, let's, let's be active here. You know what I'm saying? This was a weird week. The, the cases did not sell fast. Uh, I actually lowered the price, which I was not going to do. I was just going to take the singles, but I was like, no, I like opening for people better. Um, so it was a weird week. It usually sells out and like instantly, <laughs> uh, but it, it's not, man. You, people are, uh, people are not, not they, I guess people just don't need the cards right now. Uh, there's just so much, so many packs and cards on the market. It's unbelievable. But then it's weird. Like Arknight Skull Caps, like 300 bucks, like randomly. It's so weird. Uh, it's such a weird market and you're right, Chester. Uh, it's right. Like people are broke because they don't have cards to sell because no one's buying anything. All right. Let's pull an eye or a heart. Let's go. I always get, let's pull a heart. I want it. All right. Uh, it's been a while since we've done WTR brute for James generic for Adrian and a leg tap boil for Sean. Ooh, I like this. I like this. I like WTR. Uh, am I going to be running Zach's viscera build here soon? Um, okay, wait, let's, let's pick up on, uh, yes, I'm gonna, I am going to be running, uh, that's going to be my next deck. I think is Zach's build. Um, I, I need to like learn it and, and play it. 
I want to be good at the game. Like, I want to start playing decks like I can actually learn metas and stuff. Um, and me playing Cass uh, Eye doesn't really help me learn the game because, like, I'm not going to win because it's not anything close to the meta. So, uh, yeah. Uh, am I, am I satisfied with my current Monarch collection or am I still planning on buying more? Honestly, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with mine. Um, I wish I had two libraries. Like I wish I had pulled a library, uh, and then like maybe purchased another one. Uh, really just because like, I can't capitalize on, Ooh, Chad, your first card, man. I can't capitalize on any like upticks in it if I only have one because I got to keep them for the collection. So uh, I'm satisfied with it. I, I probably won't be buying. I might buy another Galaxy Black. That that might be the only one that I pick up another one of. Um, Overpower, Breakneck Battery, and Scour the Battlescapes. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm not the type of person that like wants to own a ton of the expensive cards. Like, I don't know. I, like I have like one, I think I have two of each legendary or something like that. And then a couple of like the, the more lower end ones that I just had opened. I have not sold a, like a single first edition Monarch card yet. So I uh, glimpse the Quicksilver. There we go. Chad, our first majestic goes to you, my friend. Um, I, I have not sold a single, like, I don't think I've sold a single Monarch first edition card. Um, yeah. I never played Zach, so uh, we still don't know who's the stronger player, but maybe you should just be playing my builds. Jacob, send me your list, man. Let's do it. Let's, I can do a competition. You can do a con Oh, Pounding Gale, Ninja Foil. Jacob, we can do a competition. What can Louie lose with less, your deck or Zach's deck? That'd be a great competition. There we go. Pounding Gale Foil for Sean. Congrats, man. Um, yeah, so like uh, talking about Monarch, uh, where's my sleeves? Talking about Monarch First Edition, like, I have tons of cold foil commons. I mean, I opened like 58, 60 boxes for me. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just feel like that's enough cards for me. I don't know. I, I, my big investment, I've said this before, my big investment in Flesh and Blood is, is this YouTube channel. That is my big investment in the game. Uh, and you know, I've I purchased some cards. Ooh, Crazy Brew for the generic. All right, Adrian, Sigil and Crazy Brew. I purchased some cards with like the hope that I can make some money, like the eye. But like, honestly, it's like if I can make money off of Flesh and Blood, it's going right back into uh, making the channel better and doing cool content and stuff like that. So Energy Potion, Disable and a Buckling Blow. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm pretty, 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 uh, pretty set with my Monarch first edition stuff. Uh, but yeah. Cracked yesterday, actually, and opened my first out of my sealed collection. Footsteps, nice. Uh, that would be a card that I would pick up a couple more copies of if I wanted to put more money into it. Um, I think Footsteps has proven that it's like the, the go-to card in this set. Um, what I don't know what to do with is like the legendaries that are like in the, in the deck, like, I don't know. Staunch response, blessing of deliverance, and an unmovable man. Some of those unmovable foils, I think it's mostly the, uh, I think it's mostly the red one. Actually have some value. Um, yeah, the commons, I mean, the commons are dirt cheap right now. I mean, I guess, so, use that with a, <laughs> you know, like a, a cold foil common from Monarch right now is the same price as a cold foil Majestic from Crew was when I started playing the game. Uh, isn't that an interesting dynamic? Like a cold foil, I was talking to somebody today, and they were like, uh, I was actually on Wall Street in the, the Flesh and Blood Wall Street chat. And uh, he, somebody, I was like, look, my, the only, the, I was frustrated, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, like, six months ago, my Courage of Bladehold cold foil was, uh, was worth, uh, it was worth 50 bucks. And I was like worried that it was going to lose value. <laughs> like, that's where, oh, wrong card. That's where I feel like some things, it's like, man. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like those cold foil commons are still uh, probably good buys. I don't know, though. Uh, it's like, where would you rather put your money? Cranial Crush, super rare. Would, would you rather put your money into something else? Eventually, though, like, the bottom always rises to where the top is going. So even if the library goes up, you know, the, the cold foil commons will move at the same percentages, I think, around the same percentages. Maybe not as drastically. I don't know. Um, 
but the 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 investment is lower like if you can't afford a cold if you can't afford a library then like you can still hop in and like grow your collection helm of eisen's peak for the uh for the oh that's guardian sorry for the guardian let's put a sleeve on that um uh, yeah boom what am i doing i'm all lost here guys sorry it's been a while since i've streamed uh yeah i agree that's what i'm trying to say been buying up all the crew cold foils I can for 100 ish and monarch for 60. Yeah, the monarch for 60, it, it surprises me, honestly. Um, yeah, Sander, is that you up there? You'll do good, man. Guardian slots, uh, Guardian slots, not, not a bad idea. Route Warriors kind of hitting hard, uh, and a stroke of foresight foil, and a go over the whole pack. Was, it was, uh, I'm not partial to my first edition cold foils. If I can sell them to get playable cards to further my decks and have a playable collection of everything, I'm willing to take that though. Yeah, man, chat. I mean, that's a, that's a great, and I love that in our community, there's multiple people there. Like for me, like I, I feel like I'm a pretty medium person. Like I, ooh, Kobe. I want the cold foils because I'm a collector, but I also want all the playable cards. Like that, that's where I am. Uh, but I totally respect the players who are like, I don't care about cold foils. And I think that's what's perfect about this game because you can buy first edition boxes, get the cards to play with, and then like eventually sell them to buy more, you know, more cards. Uh, that's a fair stance. Aren't we supposed to do the chant? Oh, what chant do you guys want to do? We need, you know what we need in, so in Arcane we have a card and in Monarch we have a card. We need to find a card for WTR and Crucible that we do something funny on the channel with. So uh, we, need, we need to figure that out. Oh, for sure. The experience of playing is always going to be worth more. Um, and, you know, for me, it's like Drone of Brutality. Buckling blow. For me, it's like, I love the experience of collecting though too. So like, you know, I don't know. I don't get you wrong at all. I totally get it, Ken. I totally think that's a healthy place. And it's a healthy place that the game has multiple people like that. Um, oh, WTR is Kobe. All right. Good call, Ken. Sorry. Oh, foil raise. Dude, all right. Time out, everyone. Time out. Everyone take a... Everyone, look at your screen. If you're just listening, look at your screen. And look at this artwork and the foiling. Like, good... Good Lord, is that not the most beautiful card that you have ever seen? Look at that. I mean, come on. Why would you not play this game if you were just like looking at shiny things? Why would you not play this game? It is so, um, like it's beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's got a printer line right there, but other than that, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's com it's completely gorgeous. Um, that was a good test of my new lighting setup. I think it looked pretty good. I think it looked pretty dang good, everyone. Uh, all right, Adrian, congratulations on a beautiful card, man. Staunch response, glint the, um, did, did we not get, did we not just get a glint? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be, it's going to be one of those nights. It's going to be one of those nights. Did we not just get, did we, am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. I'm right. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, all right. Double glint. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those nights, everyone. It's going to be one of those nights. I've heard. I haven't opened this. Uh, I've not opened any WTR from this batch of WTR. Um, which, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Snap Dragon Scalers. Steel Blade Shunt and Nimble Strike. I have heard that the... the, the uh, the collation is not very good. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> it's been horrible. Uh, but I didn't realize in WTR that was this bad. Mitch, I guess, has been telling me. Steel Blade... <laughs> oh, Chad. Chad, you need to learn to share, buddy. Oh, Chad, you need to learn how to share, dude. Chad. Uh, no, we hit, we hit some drones. We've hit a couple drones, Michael. Uh, drone? Drone? And drone. Yeah, we've hit drones. And we get three drones. I don't get that. I don't know. I don't understand. I I guess this is I I don't know. I don't know. 
I have no clue. I don't understand why drone is in the boxes. They said it wasn't gonna be, I don't really care. Uh, I just I don't understand why it's still here, uh, but it is. So uh, sigil all Adrian's hearts. All right, that was the first box. No, let's see, no rainbow foil. Oh no, we got the, um, we got the pounding gale in that first box. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right, everyone ready to move on? Hey, I have free commons. If you're in here and you're uh, looking to learn how to play the game, go to cavdeansmarket.com. Uh, pick up yourself a uh, two boxes worth of free commons. Uh, right now, I think I've got I think I've got a pretty good mix. So uh, it, it's just kind of random. Um, here we go. By the way, those tomes of Fandels, the three that sold for sixty dollars each, came in. Wasn't sure if it was going to do it or not. Turned out good. Yeah, that's crazy. Congratulations on your purchase, dude. That's a crazy good purchase. Crazy good purchase. Congratulations. Uh, Clark, does that mean lots of good pulls or bad pulls? I mean, it kind of, the, it's kind of just like a lot of the same pulls. I think like the number of Majestics is still the same in each box, but like we just got three Warrior Majestics and no other Majestics and duplication so it's just stuff like that like your your spread of different cards won't be as much uh but you should still get the same you know whatever so all right let's hop in all right blessing forge for war guardian and stone wall confidence a whole guardian pack there uh there you go guardian yeah for sure for show sure um drone of brutality a flick flack man that card is so good and stroke of foresight i will say i think wtr has some of the like the powerfulness of the cards is crazy uh and especially in the generic slot that's one thing with monarch that i'm like eh like there's not a i don't know like can monarch keep up mugenchi release the the super rare and an overpower will monarch like hold true it's just different like it's so different um be informed hola or hola i don't know is it hala or old hola i don't i don't know i'm showing my uh all right steel blade shot and a nature's path pilgrimage all warrior cards in that pack uh dude yeah i have not seen an uncut sheet you know what i want bad you know what i would love to have is an uncut sheet of wtr like oh that would be so cool actually crew i don't know any of them but like uh, i feel like the foiling is looks super good in my new lights i'm just gonna keep like that's gonna really distract me everyone i, I worked really hard last night on my lights um are all the class cards printed next to i don't know i nobody i don't think anybody knows uh what the sheet looks like i don't think we've ever seen a sheet i have not at least if anybody knows what a sheet looks like, please send it to me. Uh, you know, send me what it looks like. I mean, if you want to send me a sheet, I'll take that too. But like, a picture would be good too. Um, I don't want to downplay it. Like, I would buy a sheet. I would spend a lot of money for a sheet. All right. Uh, staunch response. Hey, oh, enlightened strike. I bet you would get another one of those, baby. I bet you we get another Enlightened Strike in this box. Enlightened Strike, Adrian, we're there, baby. We're at 55 bucks already, man. Congratulations, Enlightened Strike. Uh, dude, this hit a Rainbow Foil E-Strike. That's hit a Rainbow Foil E-Strike. Come on, baby. All right, if you missed this, I promised Adrian if I pull a Foil E-Strike, a Foil Tunic, and a Foil Heart, he gets a box of Monarch First Edition open. Dude, oh, that would be so much fun. Oh, boy, oh, Adrian, dude, Adrian, Adrian, Rocky, nobody. All right, Adrian, I'm sure you've heard that a billion times. I'm sorry, man. Adrian, baby, Dome of Fandel, foil. That card's hot right now, too. That is a hot card right now. Uh, I love it. Do you own any Alpha E-Strikes? I do not own any Alpha E-Strikes. I own one Alpha Toma Fandel. Uh, that's it. I've had a couple... <laughs> I thought that was... I don't know. I don't know why, but I thought that was a heart. <laughs> uh, I've had a couple people, like, send me, like... Um, like, somebody sent me a, a Toma Fandel as a thank you for something I did for them. Uh, and that was pretty cool. Um, so, I do not own a Alpha... I almost bought some Alpha Enlightened Strikes when they were a little bit cheaper, 
Um, but it, it just is what it is. Um, nimbleism. I wasn't around, I wasn't around back then. Like I wasn't around when Alpha was in, so like I missed out on that. Um, yeah. Uh, flip black, fluster fist, and an overpower. All right, all right. What was dope? Uh, I don't know what was dope. I'm lost. I'm lost in the chat right now, everyone. Uh, disable, staunch response, and a wounding blow. All right, give me something else to talk about. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to chat? Uh, what do you want to chat? How do you guys want to chat? Well, I, yeah, I, again, I would buy a, a, a non fault you strike. Uh, what I would love if, if prices still keep dropping. Blood Rush Bell. All right, Brute getting some love. We got a foil Kobe, baby. A foil Kobe. Let's go. Foil Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Um, Tectonic Plating and Crater Pitch will get more attention if that's when they announce a new guarding here. Yeah, for sure. Uh... Corey wants to talk about my hatred for phase 10. Okay, so I played phase 10 the other day. Uh, we we're like hanging out. Uh, Pat and Gail, super rare. There we go. We we're like hanging out with some family. And I played phase 10. And I got to say, the worst game on the entire face of the earth. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, there's it's complete randomness. There's nothing good happens in it. There's no strategy at all. Uh, it's, it's a completely like way too long game. Like they were like, how can we make this more painful? We can just make them keep playing even though they want it to be over. And that's basically what they did when they were designing the game. It's horrible. It was not fun at all. Uh, like halfway through the game, everyone was just like, can we just stop? Cause it was so bad. And then I, I mentioned it in our podcast, may the zoo be with you. And <laughs> And Corey commented and said, uh, Corey, what did you say? You're mad at me. You're like, Fate 10 is my favorite game of childhood. Ah, uh, you're funny. Corey, you're funny, dude. Uh um, uh oh. Uh oh, everybody. We got we got a legendary. What is it? Leave it in the comment section. I'll let you see. You can see a little bit of the artwork. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. But, yeah, I'm gonna let you guess. I'm gonna let you guess before I guess. You can see a little snippet of the artwork there, everyone. What is it? Spring tunic? Mask? Tunic? I think it's a tunic. Oh! <laughs> we're there. Oh, baby, Adrian. Adrian, we're one card in, man. Oh, Adrian, we get it. Oh, look at that. Foil. Oh, good. Beautiful. Foiling. Adrian, we're one card in. I, I owe you two more cards, and you get a box of... Oh, I hope it happens. Adrian, that is... Uh, that's about as pristine of a card as you can get, man. If Unlimited's ever worth anything, uh, you should get this graded. Uh, it's maybe a little bit... Oh, man. If they ever stop printing uh, Unlimited, this is a... This is a nice card, my friend. Uh, that is... That's the nicest... Uh, <laughs> That is the nicest I've seen. Oh, baby. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the actual sleeve too, just because it's that nice. Uh, no, George. George, don't comment on my ability to put things in a sleeve. Uh, Mitch is really getting on George for being mean to me. Uh, I can't even see, it. oh, there we go. Adrian, congratulations, my friend. Ah, that's awesome. Good job, Adrian. All right, let's keep cracking arts. We need an, a foil E-Strike. <laughs> Adrian, if we actually pull this off, I will be amazed. I will be amazed. Uh, I'll start getting worried if we get another one of them. If we... <laughs> Brute. Iron Rock. I don't know why I'm sleeving these. I guess because the Monarch ones are worth something. These ones aren't worth anything. Uh, boom. All right. Adrian, congratulations. Uh, yeah. Pulled a foil tunic for my very first six packs in a sealed event. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> oh, dude, in the sealed event. That'd be so good. That'd be, that'd be a strong advantage to uh, Reckless Swing for the Super Rare. Uh, Warrior's Valor and a Cartilage Crush. Adrian, congrats, my friend. George, you're doing great. George does, me. George does love me. George is a good dude. Drone of Brutality, Overpower, and a Nimbleism. Uh, they're lighting, I can hear my dogs upstairs. They're whining because uh, they're lighting fireworks off. 
uh, outside I can hear. Um, there's always money in the banana stand? What? 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 Sigil. Uh, generic. Ninja. Uh, opening MetaZoo soon. Yeah, hey MetaZoo Games, what's up? Uh, we will be, uh, well, you know, patrons will have access to, to MetaZoo box openings. Uh, I mean, eventually the public would be if they don't sell out, but I'm sure they will sell out. Uh, the hype for MetaZoo is so real. Uh, I heard, I'm, I'm not going to say who, I'll let you guys figure out who. Uh, somebody has 3,500 people on a wait list uh, for uh, MetaZoo. Sigil? Energy potion and a crush conference. 3,500 people on a wait list for MetaZoo. That's more than their Monarch First Edition wait list was. M more than their Monarch First Edition was. Uh, disable, Reckless Swing, and a crush confidence. I feel like that was the exact same pack we got a couple packs ago. Duplication on the super rare. Um... MetaZoo, uh, yeah, so patrons, you'll have access to that after, like, the local people do. Um, but there should be, I think, I, I think, I think I'll have plenty for you. Uh, I mean, you know, it'll sell out quick, I think. Uh, it'll sell out quick. But we will do box openings on the channel. Uh, can't wait, dude. MetaZoo is so much fun to open. Uh, I've already opened two boxes of Kickstarter. Me and my wife opened the second box. Uh, so I don't want to, I can't open, you know, I don't want to open any more Kickstarter boxes. Um, but, uh, beautiful cards. I love it. Uh, and I'm super excited to see, uh, those of you who don't know, we are going to, uh, to Megacon in Orlando and, uh, we're going to, Medi uh, Chester, thanks for giving me a card. You're welcome, man. Uh, we're going to, uh, Megacon in Orlando and I can't wait to, uh, go hang out with, with, uh, with Mike from MetaZoo, uh, and, Hopefully, do some uh, dressing up like characters to get some of those promo packs. It looks sweet. So if you're around a, uh, a con convention, convention, make sure you look up to see if Medicine is going to be there. Because Oh, and if you want to go to Megacon, there's like 10 to 15 patrons now who are going to Megacon to hang out uh, with George and I uh, and not Mitch. Not Mitch is going too, because uh, Mitch is not going. So not Mitch is going. Uh, I put a Reckless Swing in the Brute category. That was wrong. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I can't wait to open some MetaZoo. I'm actually playing MetaZoo this weekend. I'm going to learn how to play. I'm really excited. Uh, I think we're going to stream it, too. I think Mitch and I are going to stream it. Staunch response and a Barraging Beatdown. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, all right, we got a Spring Tunic. Orlando is legit. Cloak and Blaster is a great pub, uh, geek pub there. Oh, a geek pub. They don't have those in West Virginia. A geek pub. I assume that's a place where you can drink beer and play nerdy games. Sounds like a good place to me. <laughs> Still fun. All right. Uh, can we talk about Snapdragon Scalers? I love that. Oh, Remembrance. Dude, Adrian, you're killing it. Uh, I think that I'm going to do a hot take here. I think Cold Foil Snapdragon Scalers hits 2K by the end of the year. Hot take, everyone. Hot take. Cold foil, Snapdragon scalers, 2K by the end of the year. My hot take. Full disclosure, I own two of them. Yeah, two of them. Uh, and I would never, I would probably never sell one of them. But that card is so good. And it's in, it's like used in every deck that needs it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's so good. Staunch response, blackout kick, and a rising knee thrust. Uh, yeah, Mike, can't wait to hang out, man. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I love, yeah, Benny, like, Mike's always here. I love it. Like, I love it. My, oh, double majestic box. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Double majestic foil case. A Lord of Wind for Ninja. Ninja's killing it. Everyone's killing it other than Brute. Um, meta, uh, Mike, dude, thank you also for being here. But uh, I have to say, Mike does a fantastic job best job i've ever seen of any business owner or whatever or communicating with his fans and with the fans of his game uh, mike is always in the discord server iron song determination and a sync below foil 
Uh, there we go. Iron Song Determination. We're doing good. Mike is always hanging out. Uh, it's awesome to see uh, that somebody who cares about their game that much. Uh, and that's probably like I love the artwork. I love the nostalgia. Uh, I haven't. I'm going to play the game this week and hopefully really you know find it enjoyable. Everyone I've heard talk to really likes it. Um, but what really makes me excited about the product of MetaZoo is Mike's ability to be in the community and um, and that means a lot to me. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, uh, talking to Orlando, just got, oh dude, Kyle, Kyle's coming to Orlando. Kyle's going to have a break here in a couple minutes. Uh, seriously guys, if you can get to Orlando in August, I think it's like the 15th or something, 12th to the 15th. I told you so. I told you all so. Let's go. Uh, dude, Adrian, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like you're on fire, dude. I'm feeling like you are on absolute fire this is going good this is going good if you're adrian adrian two enlightened strikes plus the tunic let's go let's go kobe kobe Whoop, boop, kobe there we go that's the new kobe dance oh stop it chad chad mr non-cold foil mr playable cards calling the e-strike non-foil junk Disable, blackout kick, and a steel blade shunt. Uh, cool. <laughs> Kobe is greater than the E strike. A hundred percent agree. A hundred percent agree. Bear beat beatdown, staunch response, and a foil unmovable. I uh, I actually bought a foil first edition Kobe just because I like it that much. I bought. I'm I'm calling it the Kobe rookie card. That's what I'm calling it. Um, you know, because I get to do that. Uh, Crush Confidence. Pounding Gale, again, that's like our third Pounding Gale. And a Time Snap Potion. Uh, man, this is a, this is an interesting case. This is a great case. Two E-Strikes. Uh, two E-Strikes. Uh, Forge for War, another duplicate super. Um, man. Kobe's the reason. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got a foil one. That's uh oh. Oh my gosh, break! Oh baby, what a case! Double legendary. What a case, guys! This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. Is cryptic the hour on? We'll talk about uh, uh, meta zoom in a minute. Brave Forge bracers. I bet you this centering's gonna be super good too. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful card. Man, the cut in this right now, they've got it figured out for this printing of WTR. I gotta say, uh, everything looks really nice. Such a good case. Wow. Congratulations, Chad. Chad had a great first box too. Um, wow. Uh, somebody asked about, is Cryptid Nation first edition gonna be easy to get at MSRP or is it gonna go to 400 immediately? Uh, I don't know, there's 25,000 boxes. Oh gosh, dude. <laughs> Adrian, you're killing me. I should have just not let anybody buy cases. I should have just like left the cases as were and just been like, I'm just gonna keep them off myself. That's what I should have done. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Uh, our first edition gonna be MSRP or is it gonna go to 400 immediately? There's 25,000 boxes. Um, but the demand is through the freaking roof. I gotta say, uh, the demand is absolutely through the roof. I think MSRP is going to be hard to come by. Uh, patrons, you will have access to, I'm gonna do um, a, uh, a bundle deal that's gonna have a first edition box and like one of each of the product. Uh, and that's what I'm doing locally too. Um, so like, uh, I don't know. I, I think that boxes will probably skyrocket uh, and then they'll probably trend down. It's, you know, there will be some people who are flipping it. Uh, that's why I'm doing a player bundle. I'm trying to to keep people from just flipping it. I really want people to learn how to play. Um, so like, I, I think that, uh, I think that we will see a increase in box prices pretty rapidly and then we'll start seeing a little bit of a slower decrease. A little bit with like what's happening with Monarch, maybe on a lesser scale, like maybe boxes go to 300 and scale down to 200 instead of they went to 700 and they scaled down to 300. Um, so I don't know. Uh, 
I just think like there's definitely there's definitely going to be some like scalpers who get their hand on some of it and that will always see the price up and then down. I do think uh, like Kickstarter boxes are probably a pretty good like. I don't know, probably a pretty good play right now. I think they're hitting under two grand right now. Um, and again, I have a, a you know, I've, I've traded for one Kickstarter box. No, I traded for, traded for two Kickstarter boxes. So I do have some of them. Again, I will never sell them. <laughs> That's my thing. Look, I don't, I don't like, I, I just want them. Uh, so I'm just trying to disclose what I have to you. But like, I do think that those are pretty good buys right now. Uh, because I think there's going to be a lot of new eyes on the game and those are limited to 2,500, I think, or something like that. Um, so like, I do think that there's a play like there, if you want the sealed product. Um, but, uh, first edition, I think will kind of go up. It'll be hard to get an MSRP on release. And then I think it will trend, it'll go up and then kind of trend a little bit downwards at some of those scalpers fight to the bottom a little bit so uh, i do think though that like long term first edition will you know twenty five thousand boxes is not going to be enough for the demand that uh that is here uh you know if you look at the social media accounts if you look at all that stuff there are more people whose eyes are on metazoo um than you think um and so you know i don't know it's different. It's a completely different animal than flesh and blood, I think. And that's why I'm excited about it, uh, because I already have flesh and blood, and this is a completely different animal. Uh, so, Flock the Feather Walkers and Warriors of Valor. Metazoo to the moon. George, who let you on this channel, George? Uh, we're, we're, we're recording our podcast tomorrow. Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the podcast? Do you guys like the podcast? Do you not like the podcast? love to know would love to hear your feedback how can we make the podcast may this do be with you a flesh and blood podcast better uh, that's what we want to know uh mugenshi release this has been a fantastic case unless you're the brute slot uh guardian you're not doing super hot either um good you're enjoying it i'm too other than george uh Oh, I, th I thought that was another legendary. Oh, man. Snatch, Sigil, and a Refraction Bolters. All right, I'm running out of sleeves here. Uh, the podcast, it, it's been a lot of fun to, like, uh, really dive into some of the things. <laughs> Mitch could be fire. Be nice to Mitch. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, Mitch could be fun here. You should bring on guest spots on the pod, like DMR Mata or even Mike from the zoo. Uh, I'm sure that we will eventually uh, do that. We got to kind of find our brand first a little bit. Um, we are going to be, George and I are going to be doing a podcast without Mitch from uh, from Megacon. So if uh, if Mike can, can get there and, and steal the time away, uh, that would be a lot of fun to have Mike on for the MetaZoo Minute. Uh, Route. Oh, that goes in the warrior. Sorry. And brute. Uh, Mitch is great. I agree. Uh, you guys should bring guests to bring more drama to the show. That's what it needs is more drama. Start with a pack battle. Staunch response, blessing, and a scar for scar. Uh, we, we'd start with a pack battle, but George doesn't open packs. So uh, that would be difficult. Um, it would be difficult to do with George. Uh, steel blade shunt overpower and a razor reflex adrian man you gotta pull a foil e strike and a heart in this box man i don't think it's gonna happen i don't think it's gonna happen if you played sealed during your podcast or is it is it that boring <laughs> what you could probably play sealed blackout kick and a warrior's valor uh we're gonna be doing a ton of fun stuff all right personal percentage allocation of Meta, fab versus Meta Zoo. Mine is approximately 5 to 63 to 30. Inter oh, uh, okay. I see what you're saying. I do not know what my percentage is. Honestly, I have almost no idea what, what uh, value of magic cards I still own. I have sold so many magic cards to buy flesh and blood. It's unbelievable. Uh, elaborate on why I don't like the Monarch Blitz decks. 
Did I say that? Did I say I don't like the Lord of Wind? Boom. Who said they don't like the Monarch Blitz decks? I can't keep up with you guys giving us your feedback. There's a ton of feedback. I love it. Uh, what's the point? Day of Medicon, Megacon. Saturday is probably the best one. Uh, cardboard cutout of Mitch for that would be great. Drone. Smash Instinct. Personally carry the cardboard Mitch everywhere at Megacon. <laughs> you don't like the configuration of the Blitz decks. Oh, uh, did I say that or did Mitch or George say it? Alpha Rampage, finally the Brute getting some, some love there. It's been rough for Brute in this break. Uh, I think I like the Blix decks. I don't remember what I said. I think I like the, the current Blix decks. Foil Drone. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Clark. Uh, I think that, I think that maybe what you heard was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a problem with the Blitz decks. I want to do a Blitz deck, deck tech if I didn't like the Blitz decks. Um, find out the last of the magic. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Uh, I would say my current is is very heavily skewed towards Flesh and Blood. Iron Song, Determination, boom. I also don't know the value of my MetaZoo cards. Um, I haven't really looked up. I did buy um, a complete set of the... Uh, of the uh, Christmas cards this weekend. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the zoo releases on July 30th. Um, Cranial Crush, super rare. Uh, and uh, like, I I would say like I have, I have traded some for the zoo. I have not put a bunch of like my own like personal money into the zoo. Cause honestly, I, I, I mostly trade things these days. Um, I did just, like I say, buy those Christmas cards. Those are like limited to 500. Uh, and I got all five of them. I felt like that was pretty good. So, uh, kingdom type, uh, kingdom type. I need a break. I need to learn Monarch before I can get hyped for kingdoms. I saw somebody today say that they pre-ordered kingdoms already. Please do not do that this early. Maybe wait, like, at least, I don't know, unless you really know the store and you, like, really trust them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Overpower. I'm still... <laughs> I don't want to get into Dragon's Den. I'm still... Yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway, just be careful. Make sure you get pre orders but remember that, like, the print run could be different than it was for... Um, for Oh, crippling! This was a huge majestic box, wasn't it? At least two. Did we hit three? I feel like we hit three majestics in that box. All right, two packs left, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do not like a Magic the Gathering's release schedule. I could not be a content creator for Magic the Gathering. On on Monarch Spoiler Week, I was dead. Like I did nothing but do flesh and blood content. It was exhausting. It was exhausting. Uh, all right, Goliath Gauntlet in the close and a staunch response. That was a pretty dang good case, everyone. That was a pretty dang good case. I have to say, uh, some of you guys were sleeping on that case. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad that we got it off. Uh, so let's, uh, let's look at what everybody got here. Uh, Sean H, Sean Ninja, let's see what you got. You got a Mugenchi. Uh, you got a Lord of the Wind foil, Lord of Wind foil. Uh, you got another, a Pounding Gale. I think you got a couple Pounding Gales, didn't you? Another Mugenshi. You got a foil Pounding Gale. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, you got, you got yourself some good stuff. Uh, you know, it, it's pretty, pretty solid. Those are pretty solid pulls, man. Uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting to see the, the current market state. It'll be interesting longer term too to see how it continues. Uh, Chad, oh, you got yourself the Brave Forge Bracers. More lore, lore books. I hope so. Man, I hope so. I don't think that's their priority right now though. Um, Iron Song Determination, Refraction Bolters. What else do we get here? A route. Uh, you got a pretty good case. Come on. Iron Song Determination. 
It's a pretty good break. Come on, where is it? Where is it? We're, we got a ton of Majestics early, didn't we? Uh, Steel Blade Supremacy, Glint, Glint, and another route. That's a great case, dude, and Brave Forge. I mean, you knocked it out of the park, Chad. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, lore books, you know, like, I think that they gotta do them. I just don't think it's their priority right now, and it shouldn't be. Like, the lore books should not be their priority. Their priority needs to be getting boxes and all that stuff. And, you know, that they're doing that, and they're accurately focusing on that, and that's really good. Um, Adrian got a tunic, got a foil tome. Uh, you got two E-strikes, didn't you? Adrian killed it. Uh... Adrian, Adrian, where's, oh, we got another, t oh my gosh, E-Strike, Adrian, you, a remembrance, you killed it, my friend, that was, that was a really, really good, for not getting a heart, uh, that's about as, as good as you can get, I wish we got you a foil E-Strike, I wish we were, like, on the edge of our seat to see if you won, uh, your, your sealed box, but you did not, all right, Adrian, congratulations, that was great. Uh, if I could create a new mechanic next set, what would it be? I really like Graveyard Recursion. I would love something. Oh, James, you did not do good, my friend. Uh, you did not. I think all you got was an Alpha Rampage. I really think that's like all you got, dude. I think that's all you got. Oh, and a Reckless Wing. Maybe you got two Reckless Wings? Two Reckless Wings. Oh, and a Blood Rush. Okay. Not horrible. But not good. Like, definitely not good. Not horrible, but not good, James. Um, I would say it's some some sort of, like, graveyard recursion type thing where it's, like, really, really utilizing your graveyard. I know Monarch did a little of that kind of stuff, but, like, really, really, really utilizing your graveyard as a resource. Um, I, I would love to see that. Uh, all right, Sander. Uh, how do we do? We got a Crippling Crush, a Cranial Crush. We got lots of stuff crushing. And a Forged War. I think we got two Forged War. We have Foil Kobe. 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 Uh, another Foil Kobe. <laughs> uh, a Forge for War. And a Cranial Crash. And do you guys like that when I do that at the end? I don't know. Tell me if, if I'm just wasting your time. We can just skip it. I, some people like that. I don't know. All right, Sander. Not bad. Not very good, though. Really, you know pretty bad that's not bad. that's not lie that was not great okay that's um i'm gonna go and let my dogs downstairs because i can hear them whining in the back so give me three minutes not three minutes give me 35 seconds and uh we'll be right back uh for this monarch break All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, my dogs, there's like fireworks going on outside and my dogs are losing it. So uh, I did not want them waking up my daughter. I can handle some dogs around my feet. I can't handle a daughter who's crying because dogs were whining. So, all right, let's do Monarch Unlimited. I'm excited. Uh, Monarch, man, let's talk about Unlimited a little bit while we set up here. Um, I, well, I guess we'll wait. Uh, so here we go for, uh, oh, we got to do the random patron too. If you guys didn't know, uh, what we're doing is we're pulling, uh, a random patron from a list of all the, the current patrons, 
We'll do it live here. Let me get set up. Um, we're pulling a random patron from a list of all the patrons. And then uh, we're rolling and they, that person gets the generic slot in the Monarch Breaks, which is pretty awesome. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I think I underestimated how many people might be interested in the generic slot, but um, I don't care. I, I don't care at all. So uh, we will uh, we'll roll it and we'll see what we can do here. Let me pull it up here. Stand by, stand by. Shoot. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what we can do here. Uh, I, I like it. I like doing it. I, it adds a little bit of value to the patron. Not really. It's just a little perk. I like coming up with like just little fun things um, to like make the Patreon a little bit more interesting. You know what I mean? Like it's just make it a little bit more fun for you guys. This is a goal. Goal is to keep you guys around. Um, it's uploading right now. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Stand by everyone. It'll just be fun. So they get the, the generic. It's fun. It's just a way to give a little bit of value to you guys uh, and make these streams interesting if you don't want to uh, get a slot um, and just a lot of fun. So we do Wheel of Names, popping it up right now. Wheel of Names is how we do the prize support in our um, Thursday Night Armories too, which is a lot of fun. All right, Window Capture, on. Wheel of Names, enter. The giant Wheel of Names, here we go. This is uh, this is for the generic slot in tonight's break, everyone. Roll it up. Thank you to all the patrons. I appreciate you all. You are amazing. Uh, and let's see who gets the slot. Hey, Russell. Russell. All right, Russell. Can't wait, Russell. R-U-S-S-E-L-L-R. Russell, gonna get it. All right, man. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, here we go. So, random patron slot. Going to Russell. And... Boom. Uh, we got Kyle, who uh, runs Fabled Collections, a, a shop in uh, uh, in Colorado. And uh, Kyle runs Sunday night armor events, Sunday afternoon armor events in our Discord server. So, uh, Kyle, I really appreciate you. Chad O is back. Uh, Chad going for the Shadow Brute. John B going for the Shadow uh, Generic. We've got Ken, uh, Ken F at the Light Illusionist. Uh, let's see, let's put this here so we don't get those confused. Uh, we got James K and the Shadow Rune Blade. And we got uh, none other than your very own Neil R in the Light Warrior slot. Where does this usually go? Right here? Is this where we put this? No, that's going to get mixed up with the light. Let's put it here so we don't get mixed up with the light. All right. Uh, you guys ready to do a little break? Who we got? We got boxes. Love to take an armor, but it's on Monday when I'm at work. Where are you from? Oh, you must be from Australia. We have one Thursday night Eastern Standard Time. I'm working on trying to get the setup to do uh, a European one. Uh, I've got some um, some people who are looking into that, so we'll we'll start trying to offer a European uh, timed armor event, which would be a ton of fun uh, for you guys who are playing. There are so many people playing in the Discord server; it's awesome. So. Uh, yeah, it, it's awesome to see. I gotta empty my trash can. Give me two seconds. Don't have packs all over the place. Nobody wants to clean up packs after a long three hour, two hour stream. They have to clean up all the packs. So I try to do it while I'm doing it. Um, Thursday night equals Friday morning. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hopefully we can get a European one set up that's double time tree. That's kind of the goal here. Um, Hopefully we can make it work. All right, here we go. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to figure out where all the cards go. We're in the back. Valiant Thrust. Warrior. We got Seek Rising and a Consuming Aftermath. All right, Shadow. Uh, Russell got his first card. All right, here we go. Uh, I need my job to do more crinkle. I feel you. All right, you guys want to do a Fable? You guys want to start it off with a... We didn't do a Fable chant for WTR. We didn't need to, though. Man. All right, Chad, Harold, and Alt Muscle. I do want to say, um, 
the, as far as case breaks go, I, the first edition case breaks are uh, limited to one per patron per month. Um, you know, we did that for Monarch just to prevent people from, from you know, buying up all the slots or whatever. Uh, but these unlimited ones are not limited to any per month. So make sure you understand that if, if uh, case breaks are your thing and you like being a part of them, um, it, you know, if you're a patron, it's not limited on the unlimited side because it's called unlimited people. I mean, you can't put limits on it. Put stuff today, so I'm 99% gonna pull one after it. That always happens. I love it, Ken. I love it. I love it. I hope it happens for your sake, man. All right, Brute, Dimensional, and Hal from Beyond. Uh, it takes me a while to figure out where all these cards go. There's a lot of slot. Card of Monday tiring. Are they? Are they really? They need to. Eclipse Existence. Every time I get that card, oh baby, Russell gets the first Majestic Nourishing Emptiness. Let's go. And a Light Instant for Kyle. Uh, man, I like that slot. I love, like, I love trying to make the patron just better for you guys. Like, that's my goal. Every, like, uh, you know, the channel and the Patreon, like, I just want to make it, I just want to add value, not just to the patrons, I guess, but to the community. That's really the heart of this channel. Uh, is just to make sure that we are constantly trying to find ways to add value to everyone. Um, we're looking at a couple locations off base. Uh, does that work with libraries too? Maybe they'll hire someone to change out the cutters. That would be great to sharpen those things. Generic, Hal from Beyond, and a tremor, tremor of Irathiel. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Give me some more questions. Let's go. What are, what are some other things we want to talk about tonight on the stream? Hanging out, we talked about MetaZoo. We've talked a little bit about uh, Monarch and where we think the market is. Uh, what do you guys want to chat about? What do you want to, what do you want to do? Seek Horizon. Uh, <laughs> I hope that works for libraries because I just bought one. I can pull one. Be nice. Captain's Call. Ode to Wraith and another Illusionist. When will Monarch be 1K? <laughs> Trivia question from Crucible of War. Whose mama do you not talk about? I don't know. I have no clue. Soul food. There you go, Kyle. That's what you wanted, right? Was the $2 Majestic? Uh, whose mama do you... I have no clue, Corey. I have no clue. Who? Whose mama do you not talk about, Corey? Let us know. Frontline Scout, uh, Mist Blossom for the Brute, Illusionist for there. Uh, <laughs> you guys are funny. I wish I could go to George's store. Hey, uh, if you, Chester, uh, if you, oh, boy, on nourishing emptiness. All right, I'm calling it. Russell's going to have the best case break here. Uh, oil nourishing emptiness. I love it. Uh, George has his skirmish this weekend, Chester. So make sure you're signed up uh, for George's skirmish. He's got some slots open. Um, they changed his time. Well, they didn't change his time. They didn't give him the pro prize support on time. So, uh, yeah. You need a soul food. Blood tribute. Uh, what artwork of blood tribute do you guys like best? I'm curious. I'm curious. I think I like this one better, honestly. Oh, I just put that in the warrior because that's where the warrior was last time. See, this is the problem, guys. Muscle memory. Uh, card. Oh. Well, didn't you say it was a crew trivia question? Did you not say it was a crew tri Battlefield Blitz, Light Warrior. Invigorating Light and Illusionist. I thought you said it was a crew question. I, I, you guys like the first edition, really? I think I, I think I like the unlimited better. I can be wrong. I mean, I'm okay with being wrong. Ru <laughs> Russell is gonna get all the. <laughs> oh, patrons, I love you. I love the patrons. I love it. I love this. Oh, you guys are amazing. Uh, what did you say? Are are breaks just the non commons unless you're uh, yeah, Matthew, all the commons. Uh, if you're looking for commons, I have commons available on my website for free. You just pay shipping, go to cavdanesmarket.com. It's right here. 
cavdansmarket.com. Uh, it's free, sh or you pay shipping, commons are free, you just pay after them. You get two boxes worth of commons. Because most of the people here, they already have commons, so they don't really need it, so it saves them on shipping costs. Uh, and then also it allows me to help people, you know, grow the community. So um, that's the goal there. So uh, there's also play mats and other stuff there if you're looking to, to learn how to play the game. Light, Warrior, and Generic. Uh, generic is here. So. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, dude, Russell's, Russell's, Russell's kind of, he won the role, man. Tear limb for limb, brute. There we go, Chad. Chad's uh, having a good night, man. Chad is having a good night. George, good night, man. Hope you feel better. I uh, can't wait to talk. And, well, I can't wait for you to talk over Mitch and I tomorrow in our podcast. Uh, pulping. I'm going to I'm gonna get a mute button for George tomorrow in the podcast, everyone. Good night, George. Hope you feel better, buddy. Have yourself a great evening. Um, smash for big tree. Smash, smash, smash. So I can rest my back for the podcast tomorrow. Oh, he never stops. There's no off switch on that guy. There's no off switch on George. Uh, <laughs> spew shadow. Oh man, the spew shadow play mat. I have to say, I, I wish that LSS would give the channel fireball play mats that they're not giving to the LGSs for prize support. That being said, I, I wish that that was true. That being said, I bought one and I'm completely part of the problem. Completely proud of the problem. 100%. 100% a part of the problem. Because I love playmats. Listen. Vexing Mouth and a Valiant Thrust. Um, my point being is I just wish that like, yeah, I don't know. LGSs can't sell the playmats, but why can't you buy them all? Again, I'm part of the problem because I bought one because I'm a sucker for playmats. Uh, Bolting Blade for Chad and a Shadow Puppetry for John. There we go. We're starting to roll with some fire here. Finally, a Foil Majestic. I think that's our first one. No, we got the, uh, we got the, uh, the, the free one. The free one for the patron. Uh, we hit a double a legendary case for Monarch or for, uh, for WTR, the card, guys. Uh, but little. And a rise above, guys. I cannot wait for Sod. He's working on the artwork right now for our new kitchen table TCG playmat. Can't wait, everyone. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait to share it with you. I haven't seen it. I can't wait to see it for myself. Can't wait to share it with all you. Hope everyone's excited about it. Uh, have an official flesh and blood artist to uh, a playmat. And then we're going to have an official MetaZoo artist do the same playmat artwork, but in MetaZoo style. Uh, because why not? You know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. It'll be fun. I like the, the, the MetaZoo art. I'm not going to lie. I like it. It's grown on me a lot. Alrighty then. Continuing with the Monarch. Let's see what we can get here. Halo, you can see my hey. Isn't that a song? How does I don't even remember how that song goes. Beyonce. Uh oh, dude, yeah, Mitch's new playmat is awesome. Totally getting one of those. Um, everyone go buy that from Mitch because Mitch is very excited about it. Um, I'm think you're excited. Feel these. Halo, I. Is that the Halo song? Fears of Serility, Illusionist. Uh, View the Vanguard and Unhallowed Right. Rune Blade, where you at? Boom. Sorting this set is very difficult. Uh, Mitch better save one of those 50 for me. That's all I gotta say. Deep Rooted Evil, Shadow Brute, and Seeping Shadows, and a Light Warrior. You know, he can't just like post things for sale while I'm streaming and then not save one for me. That would not be a good friend. Uh, Brute, where you at? What'd I do? That's what I did. <laughs> ah, that's not even Chad's card. <laughs> Neil, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, now you're commenting on it too. Oh, bro, sorry, dude. My bad. See, Chad used to be there in the warrior slot. It's, it's bad, man. It's bad. 
it's bad. It was not intentional, my friend. Beacon, there you go. Warrior card. Congratulations. In the warrior slot. Good job, Louie. Who runs this channel, everyone? We have, do I have a box here to yell at me? Can somebody, somebody yell at me, please? Um, Frontline Scout. All right, this, I feel like this case has been rather boring, honestly. Uh, Warrior, Illusionist. I, I just feel like there hasn't been much spice. Uh, I really hope we hit a Legendary. That's what I hope. I really hope we hit a Legendary. Dimensional Cross. It, it's like... You know, with WTR, you're like, yeah, I'm sure we'll hit a legendary. I mean, it's got to happen, right? But with Monarch, you're like, are you going to hit six of them or just one of them or none of them? Um, <laughs> doing way better than last time. Rising Solar Dome. Neil, I never said I was good at this. Okay? Like, I never in my life have said, hey, I'm good at this. I just do it, whether I'm good at it or not. I just do it. Don John, I'm pulling for a Husky. Man, that thing's kind of expensive. That thing's holding... I was wrong about Carrion Husk. I gotta say, I was definitely wrong about Carrion Husk. I did not think that it was going to uh, be kind of one of the more sought-after legendaries. And it appears... I think the problem is it's just really good in Blitz. Smash with big trees! Smash, smash, smash. It's really good in Blitz, man. Um, it's really good in Blitz. Shadow Puppetry. And a Glisten. Uh, Richard, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing really good. Uh, my back's hurting a little bit. I gotta get a better chair. This chair is terrible. Um, I gotta get a better chair. Glisten. Um, end the small and seek horizon. Uh, I'm not lucky enough to get sponsored like, uh, Fable, Fable, Fable Hunters with their, uh, their chair game. Very jealous. Um, I gotta get a chair. My back is killing me. Uh, but other than that, I'm doing good. How are you? Are you doing good? Hope you're doing good. If not, how can I make you better? What can we do to make you more entertaining to make you doing good? <laughs> Clark, thanks, man. I gotta, I gotta figure out if I can keep myself and keep paying myself to be employed first. Mark of the Beast, Shadow Brute, boom. Until then, I will continue to use this chair until I, uh, I know Clark. I'm working on it, man. Uh, Clark works for a chair company. He reached out to me. Um, and, uh, he works for the chair company. They look pretty comfy. Shadow of Urser. Shadow Rune Blade. Uh, Illusionist. Uh, Secret Lab XL. Yeah, I have not, like, it'd be nice to, like, be able to test them out. And so oh! oh! Vestige! There we go, baby! Kyle, that's freaking go, dude! Boom! We're talking about chairs, and meanwhile, a vestige of soul appears. A wild vestige of soul has appeared. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited to open Pokemon tonight, I guess. Uh, looks like pretty good condition. Pretty good. Vestige of soul. Bam. Kyle, congratulations, my friend. You got yourself a vestige of soul. Where are my car safes? Go, Kyle. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we get a two legendary box here again. We still have two boxes left. Um, Kyle, congrats, my friend. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, Louis, I'm doing good, man. Still buying those Monarch First Cool Files right on the way to bankruptcy. Oh, Richard, please don't go bankrupt buying cardboard. Please, please, for the love, like, please don't go. <laughs> please don't do that. It's not worth it, my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're joking. Uh, good, man. You're, you're going to be in a good place. I think July is going to be just a maddening month for a lot of people. Uh, all these people who are selling at these dirt cheap prices. Once P once the whales start buying up, it's going to feel, it's going to feel bad. So I think you'll feel, feel pretty good, man. Seek Horizon. Dimensional Gateway Duplication. Kyle, congrats, man. Uh, does that go through Ninja? We can share a box. Now we just need that Valiant Dynamo. Neil's always pushing. Neil's always pushing. There you go. How about a Courageous Steel Hand, Neil? Phantasmoclasm for the Illusionist and a Glisten back in Kyle's hands. Uh, Cold Foils can't be taken in a bank. Go. 
you guys do not listen to my comment section for financial advice whatever you do run away from the comment section as fast as possible oh man a cardboard box to live in i'll be moving that's hilarious uh, smash with big tree smash 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 oh to raid i love the artwork on those cards uh invigorating light in an endless mall you guys are funny man you guys are funny i gotta say like uh i think there are some deals to be had right now not just in monarch but like man some of the uh like if you guys watch my crew update today some of the crew majestic foils at like 350 370 that seems like a pretty good deal uh, take any two cards from the official combined card LSS playmat. Oh, official combined card? You, I, I, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to figure that out right now on camera? Uh, spew shit. Okay, tear limb from limb, two cards, official combined playmat. I, my gosh, I do not know, dude. That is such a good question. I cannot, I cannot fake, you know, I cannot focus on it long enough. Uh, sink below and rise. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. Clark with the, with the right answer coming through. Light warrior. Let's go. Oh, blood tribute first edition and Zenst. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe Yinti Yanti and, uh, in Zen state. I think Yinti Yanti and Zen state. That would be sweet. You know, Yinti Yanti, the one where he's like, you know, doing the whatever. Then I think that'd be cool. Uh, all right. That's, uh, that's the end of that. That box kind of flew by. I know, didn't we? All right. Two more boxes to go, everyone. Kyle, welcome back, man. You're, you're late, man. You're late. You're late. It's the, oh, everyone likes Zen State. Honestly, I've kind of forgotten about Zen State. Like, you guys keep talking about that. Uh, Homer, my daughter wants to say hi to love the stream. Can I get a shout out? Yeah, Homer, what's your daughter's name, man? Your daughter's gotta have a name. Hello, Moon Homer. <laughs> oh man, this box is destroyed. Mini Homer. We'll go Mini Homer. Diana and Command. <laughs> what? Cheyenne and Command and Conquer like like instead of oh hey lisa hi lisa how are you hope you're doing good lisa you have a great dad he's a great dude have had some great conversations with him you should be very proud to to have a dad like that that loves you that much okay uh lisa hope you're having a great night uh cheyenne and command and conquer so like the guy in command and conquer is replaced by cheyenne because that would be cool that would be really cool. Lunar type. We could do some like lore there where like the guy got like shot with an arrow and then like now his wife is Shiana and Shiana has to come in and like save the day. Yeah. I was closer. Uh, why believe me? What are you talking about? I am so lost. I am I am so lost, everyone. Shout out round two, guys. I'm lost. I comment section. I don't know what happened. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Hello, Gillian. Did I miss it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Gillian. <laughs> Hey Gillian, hope you're having a great day. I'm sorry I called you Lisa. I don't know how to read. Uh, stay in school and learn how to read. You still have a great dad. That's the important part. Uh, Yinti Yanti, this is the card I was talking about. Pronounce Jillian. I've messed up again. Sorry. Jillian, I hope you're having a great day. I appreciate you. Uh, and again, you got a great dad. Uh, pulping and Runeblade. Uh, I'm embarrassed, guys. You have you have embarrassed me. I feel like I've let down a child. Uh, you know, so, anyway. 
Moving on, I was trying to be a good guy and you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> out muscle and unhallowed rights. Oh, uh, this is great. This is great. This is, this is just, you know, this is, this is going downhill fast. It's going downhill very fast. I can't, I couldn't keep track of the comment section. Um, anyway. She's <laughs> oh wait, it's it's completely different if she's 17. <laughs> that's, okay, that's completely different. Shadow I thought she was like seven. <laughs> this is the worst stream ever. This is the worst. That's hilarious. Oh wow. Alright, keep going. Come on, let's get through it. Seek Horizon, Prismatic Shield, and a Writhing Beast Hulk. Um, yeah. Doing great. What did I miss? Did I miss some questions in there? What, what are we talking about these days? Oh, uh, the, uh, we were talking about the playmat. So, like, uh, I think Yinti Yanti. Oh, we were talking about Shiana on Command and Conquer playmat. I think that would be sweet. That would be really cool. Somebody should make a fan version of that. Um, don't forget to edit before up it uploads automatically, Ken. <laughs> so I, I don't have time for that. Spew Shadow. Uh, I already have to edit our podcast too much because Mitch keeps saying things he's not allowed to say. Uh, we're all rolling out. Same school is still relevant. Well, you're 17, 17. That's good. Uh, Mitch keeps accidentally saying stuff he's not allowed to say from distribution stuff. So we keep editing the podcast. All right. Generic equipment. Time skippers. Beacon of victory. There you go, Neil. That's what you wanted, right? Was that your legendary you wanted, buddy? Unemployed in no time. Hey, some of us have two-year-olds that we have to, like, keep up with these days. Seeds of agony. Uh, I got another one on the way. I think most of you guys know that. Um, so we're, we're preparing for number two here. In October. Life's gonna... I, I hear when you have two, it really changes. You gotta, like, keep track of two kids instead of one, and it seems like a lot of work. Uh, Shadow uh, of Urser, and I Seek Horizon. Did you give Saad an idea to work with on the playmat, or did you let him complete creative license to go out? So, like, I I think most creative people, I'm a, I'm a creative person. I worked as a creative team director. I, I think most, smash with big trees, smash, smash, smash. Most creative people want, like, a Lumina Ascension Rainbow Foil Majestic for the Warrior. There you go. Uh, most people want like a, a direction. So it's like a, it, the idea is um, two heroes. Uh, I forget what heroes I told them. But two heroes playing flesh and blood at a table. And then the Sonata Arconics artwork in the background kind of. Like that kind of style. Like reenacting what they're playing. Uh, so that's kind of the idea I gave them. So. Um, love the victory beacon. Yeah. Uh, another Seeds of Agony in October. Kingdoms for Grant? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I'm lost tonight, guys. This is my first stream in a long time. Give me some greats. All right, rise above. You're talking about, I think that's a joke. Seeds of Ag. Oh, Seeds of the Kid. Uh, thoughts on the map policy that WT and Arc Unlimited are beyond their map period? Uh, I am, I'm biased on the, I, I think I am a very biased view on map pricing. Uh, I do not like, um, I do not like the competition and race to the bottom that's happening right now in Flesh and Blood. I think it's unhealthy for the game. Um, I think it's short-sighted if you're a player to say like you want cards to be worth as little as possible. Uh, I do. I mean, I, I think I'm a collector. I'm a box, like I do box breaks. Like I have a lot of other sides of me, but even when I was playing just a player of Magic the Gathering, like I wanted my cards to be worth something. Like I, I wanted my cards to have value. Uh, and so like, I don't love this race to the bottom. Warrior, spill blood. You're doing good, dude. Um, I don't like this race to the bottom because I think it's going to affect uh, card prices. So like, I really almost think that they need to institute map as a as a permanent uh a permanent map 
Um, I, I wonder if I wonder how much of the current market and race to the bottom is because of like the um, is because of the is, is because of the current like collectible market and then stores also having to pay for chilling rains and having to pay for uh, whatever the new the modern horizons too. like I think a lot of that has to do with the race to the bottom tear limb for limb again that's our second one at least. Uh, so like, I don't know how long this kind of racing to the bottom on Unlimited will last, but I know that stores are very concerned about Crucible of War. Uh, like that they are, like some stores are like, I'm potentially not ordering Crucible of War. Uh, and I think that's not a great place to be. Um, like, I just don't think that that's a great place to be, honestly. Like, I think smash for big tree, smash, smash, smash. Like, I'm super excited for Crucible War Unlimited because I think there's a lot of players who need the cards. At least that's what I've heard. Um, But, like, this race to the bottom prevents stores from wanting to do a pre, like, wanting to do an order of something like Crucible War because there is risk to Crucible War because it's like, why? How, how, it's like the risk of, like, how many boxes are am I really going to need? And currently, with this race to the bottom with Monarch, uh, it's like what, what? How many boxes does your local store really need? Um, and if you can't move the extra online because of this race to the bottom, smash with big tree, smash, smash, smash. Uh, because this race to the bottom cuts out so much of the 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 profit or the ability to you know to make your money then why order it like why play the game a lot of stores i think are just going to order what they think they need you know bare, bare minimum for their local scene uh and I, I think that's not a healthy place to be in 2021 where everything is mostly online soul shield dude that card is on fire right now um anyway just my you know josh that's just my opinion based on what some stores have told me is like the attitude is different the attitude now uh is not uh hey i'm gonna order a thousand boxes and hope i get 50 like the attitude is like i'm worried that if i order a thousand boxes that i'm gonna get a thousand boxes or i'm or i'm worried that um you know just the attitude of like worrying about being able to move it whereas six three months ago you couldn't keep unlimited products if you put unlimited products out for 80 bucks they sold instantly they sold it completely instantly uh whereas now like we're seeing this race to the bottom with monarch that's like and a it's below maps or whatever but like uh it's just a weird place uh uh yeah my LSS may stop printing it if it isn't selling. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to, to see when LSS puts a hold on WTR and ARC. Um, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know enough. Like, I trust, again, like my video today, like, I trust LSS to make the right decision. I think they are trying something new with map pricing. Um, so, like, I don't know. I trust LSS and I trust what they're trying to do. And like, I can disagree with it, but still trust it. Like I can still, yeah, trust it. Um, as for sealed boxes, I can't, oh, you're talking about crew first. Uh, so I think there will be a huge, I think there will be some people who start buying crew first. Um, I think I, if some people already have a ton of it though. Like I think like some of the big whales, um, you know, somebody bought out Channel Fireball at Smash with Big Tree, Smash, Smash, Smash. Uh, somebody, ooh, Mark of the Beast foil. Oh, and a Raiden, dude, what a pack. Uh, Raiden goes there to the Warrior. Neil, congratulations. Mark of the Beast foil. Good work. Uh, I, I don't know. I think that the, the, the crew first, I think when it rebounds, it'll rebound quick. There's just not a, there's not like a massive amount of it on the market at the current price. Um, it has been steadily going down though. Uh, so I, I do think, um, once it stabilizes and I think, I think this week it was pretty, it was stable to last week. Once it stabilizes, it will like, it'll start going up pretty quick. I think. Yeah. And Chad is making a great point here where it's like players 
are not buying $800 boxes, which makes sense. And right now it's a complete player's market, um, especially with Crew Unlimited coming. Uh, I don't see players doing that. So. Uh, smash for big trees, smash, smash, smash. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where the prices fall for uh, Crucible Un Unlimited in terms of single pricing. Arclight Sentinel, there we go. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see where the singles fall there. Um, All right, we're almost, is this the last box? We're almost done with this case. We got one, one, uh, one legendary room blade. Boom, light. What about the long game? What do you think crew boxes will be worth in three? Oh man, if this game is still around and growing at the current rate that it's growing in three years, uh, crew boxes are, I don't know, 10 grand, 20, 20 grand, I, three years, like that's a long way to make an estimate. Uh, 10, 10 grand, I don't know. I don't know, I think they're gonna be high. Do you think the flood of Monarch Unlimited on the market is actually good at this point in the game's growth? Uh, the flood of Monarch Unlimited. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's good for the growth. I think a lot of players are picking up the game. And that's, that's a huge win. I, I think there's a balance. Um, what, uh, believe in the game's sweet spot in terms of unlimited singles prices for still currently in perfect fables. Uh, so I, I think there's a balance. And for me, the balance is on map pricing. We're like, you want the store to be excited, like really excited to carry the product because they're able to make money and make their, their, their players happy. Like that's that's a sweet spot, and I think that I think that what the seventy seven dollar price point does, or the seventy or eighty dollar price point, is it it allows players to get cards at acceptable prices, um, allows them to get boxes at acceptable prices, but it also allows stores to be very excited to carry the product. It, it's not enough to just make as much as you make when you carry Magic the Gathering. Uh, I love the idea that, like, if you carry Flesh and Blood, Sonata Arconics, I love the artwork. Um, sad, I can't wait to see that artwork, dude. Uh, it, you know, so it, it, there's a double edge. Low cost, accessible cards make it easy for new people to pick up the game with low risk, even buy some singles, spend like $50 on a deck. 100% Chad, I, I agree. Uh, foil Genesis, Foil George, uh, there we go, Illusion, and a light Lumina Ascension, man, a couple packs in here have been really, really hot packs. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the balance of a Chad Wright kind of, I don't want to say I disagree with you, because I agree with you, it makes it more accessible. Uh, where I kind of disagree with you, it's like, okay, what happens then, though, when you go to sell your cards to buy your next deck? And that's where, like, you want your cards to not depreciate in value. Uh, now, you know, a new set comes out, cards are always going to depreciate. And so, like, a little bit of depreciation is okay. But, like, when boxes are going from $85 to $60 in two weeks, that's weird. Any chance you could create a separate patron just for the podcast? I don't use the collection tracker, but absolutely love the discussion between you, George, and Mitch. Uh, Richard, uh, that podcast is free. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, um, uh, I don't want to stop, uh, your support of me, but like that podcast is free and it, it has nothing to do with the Patreon. Um, a separate page and just for the podcast, like just to support the podcast, um, by, by supporting the channel, you are supporting the podcast. Exude confidence for the patron. There we go. Uh, boom. Yeah. Um, if you're talking about my podcast, that if, if I were investing podcast, uh, that's just like a, a way for people to um, support me in a bigger way and, and get a little bit more value. But it's mostly just like people who want to really support the channel. Um, so yeah, but the podcast is free. Um, and I, George, Mitch and I uh, support each other. Um, and if you want, you know, 
I think we're going to do some stuff in the future that's like just for the podcast. We might do some fundraising stuff for charities and stuff like that. So if you want to just support that, that'll be in the future. Uh, map policy should remain in place as long as the set is still in print. Rally the rear guard. I mean, I I agree with that. Um, but again, I'm biased. Like, let's not pretend that I'm not biased. Like, I'm biased. Um, I own a store. Like, I'm biased. Um, so, like, I think from a player's perspective, though, I do want to reiterate Shadow Brute. From a player's perspective, I just feel like you want your cards to be worth something in the future. Um, I played a fair amount of Smash for Big Tree. Smash, smash, smash. I played a fair amount of Magic. Do we do we want decks to be several hundred dollars? It's hard to maintain balance. So here's the difference. Uh, ooh, ebb and fold. Boom. The difference, I think, for me anyway, and again, uh, I look at TCGs a little bit differently than you probably, Chad, is um, like, that's, oh, I put a brute card in the shadow pile. Okay. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, shadow equipment there. Uh, I think, um, like, I, I kind of like the idea that, like, the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The legendaries have some value ha are expensive because you end up using, like, a tunic in multiple decks. So, like, it's not like the tunic retires. There you go, Guardian of the Shadow Realm. It's not like the tunic retires and you can't use it in your next deck. Uh, so, it's like buying into the hot, it's like buying into, like, it would be like buy if you, it would be like if your lands in Magic the Gathering cost money, right? If they were $50 each uh, for lands. And then, like, once you had your lands, you were just in the game, right? Like, you never had to buy a basic land again, uh, but your lands always had value. So, like, I don't know. That, that's where I start seeing it. It's where it's like, um, if you bought a tunic and it's now worth $3, like, I don't know. What is the sweet spot? $500 Fable, $250 Legendary, and $100 Majestic seem pretty sweet to me for an adult-oriented game. Uh, be informed. Y yes and no. I think $100 Majestics is where I would disagree on you. I think the... I think the $10 Majestic point and maybe, like, for your... for your Command... Like, I think right now Command & Conquer is too expensive. Command & Conquer at $70 is an expensive card. That's too expensive. But Command & Conquer at $45 or $50 is, I think, a, a healthy place for the game. Um... You know, something like I, I think that uh, I think that uh, uh, Tunic and Arknight Skullcap at $200 is good. I think at $300 or $350, wherever Skullcap's at, like $300, that's probably too high. Uh, I think that um, class specific generics should, or class specific Majestic should be about $10, 10 to 12 uh, And I think that Fables. Uh, fables aren't needed for play at all. So I think $400 for a fable give the kind of unlimited people something to chase at like $400 is a healthy price point. All right, Neil, I think you did really good. You didn't get your card that you wanted, but you did really good. You got Foil Lumina, Foil Bolting Blade, another Lumina, Raiden. You got uh, Spill Blood. You got a Beacon of Victory. Wow, Neil. I mean, come on, man. You got to be happy with this. Uh, Beacon, you gotta be happy with this. You, you gotta be, you gotta be pretty happy here, Neil. Uh, congratulations, man. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Neil, seems like a pretty good break to me, man. Um, do you guys like this when I go back through it? I don't have to do it. Tell me if you don't like it, if you're bored. Um, John, you got a Guardian, an Ebb and Fold, and... And John, this is not good. Shadow Puppetry. John, Shadow Puppetry, not the best break, my friend. Uh, I wish you did better. I wish you had... Oh, I just dropped all your cards, too. I wish you had done better, my friend. Uh, I dropped your Shadow Puppetries. They're fine. They still work as puppets. Not too shabby. Yeah, good stuff, Neil. I like it. Recap is great. Great. That's, that's good feedback for me. Uh, Kyle. Uh, a, you got a vestige of soul, so uh, congratulations on that. Uh, but you also hit a couple cool things, didn't you? I think you got yeah, soul shield. That card's stupid expensive right now. Not it's like ten bucks. It's not that expensive, but uh, halo of illumination. 
not you know oh and a soul food so not the best other than your uh your vestige but you know you definitely got your money back which is super nice kyle uh hope that blesses you well uh chad uh, i feel like you did pretty good man chad got a mark and a deeper to evil majestic foil a shadow blasma fat which isn't super hot but uh tear limb for limb which is a really hot card right now a uh, deep rooted evil not super good another tear limb from them a mark of the beast dude chad you did really good man another three tear limb for limbs what three tear limb for limbs good job man that was pretty good chad you did pretty good Don, uh john you're welcome man uh all right james let's see what you got man oh james you did sonata james you didn't do so hot man uh shadow i feel like james you didn't do well in the last break either oh uh, shadow oh james not your best one man not your best one but i appreciate you anyway uh that sucks all right we got ken ken was hunting for something good ken you didn't really find it you did get a foil george though uh you did get a foil, George. I was flipping Flesh and Blood sealed for a while. Then I thought I'd play a game, and now I'm hooked. Dude, that is my favorite story. Dude, Law, shoot me an email. Uh, KitchenTableTCG at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. Tell me your story. We'll do a whale, dolphin, lucky fish story on you. Uh, shoot me an email. I would love to share your story and, like, learn, uh, like, what, the, what made you, like, tell us your story. Like, what made you go from... Uh, from flipping to playing like what what is it that got you to play that first game and then what hooked you in as a as a player to like continue and say that like i'm super interested i would love to tell your story i would be honored if you let me tell your story dude just shoot me it in an email and i'll read it on a video i would be honored uh uh phantasmoclasm arclight sentinel ken uh thank you so much dude appreciate you uh for supporting the channel uh, all right, and then our patron, Russell, with the free slot. Let's see what Russell landed. He did pretty good. Nourishing Emptiness Foil. Uh, this goes out to the patrons, obviously. Patrons, you rock. Exude Confidence. Uh, it's fun to do a random slot for the patrons. I really like that. Uh, exude Confidence. What else? I think we got another Exude, didn't we? I think we got another Exude here somewhere. Oh, I'm in. Uh, Rouse the Ancients. Pretty good. And a nourishing emptiness. That's what it was. Uh, that was a pretty good break for there for uh, for Russell. All right. Are you guys ready to do some Pokemon? I'm ready to do some Pokemon. Been waiting all night to do Pokemon. All right. We'll do uh, we'll do Sean here first. Sean, you got a little battle styles. You guys got to tell me if I hit something really good uh, because I don't fully know Pokemon. So uh, I'm trying to learn, but, you know, I don't I don't get to do it as much as uh, as the flesh and blood stuff. Um, so I'm trying to learn a little bit. Um, and so Pokemon battle styles, let's do it. These, these little things are cool. Boop, little deck box there. Uh, all right, what are we getting this? I have never opened one of these. So this is like some sort of special pack, right? It doesn't even say. I think there's like a special pack that you only get in the battle styles. We'll do that last. Uh, and then we'll just do, you know, we'll just do these. These are like the the build and battle kit. Um, so Pokemon, like I was super into po uh <laughs> Corey, yeah it is. I was super into Pokemon as a kid and then as an adult, I always played the games, kind of lost touch with like collecting the cards. All right, a rapid strike foil energy. Ooh, and a Vincindi. Okay, so I think that these ones are like mid range. Is that correct? Like this is like the mid range hit. I mean, it's not, it's like five bucks, maybe something like that. Um, it's a, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember all those things. Uh, so Vincindi, I think I sleeve these ones, the ones with a V on it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I need to learn. So I need to learn. That's the goal is to learn Pokemon here uh, and to kind of do a little bit of a mixture of other stuff too. All right, let's keep going. Uh, one to two on Vincindi. The art is fun on these, is it? It is cute. The art is cute. You're right. Like, look at this little Chir Chiruby. I, the, the names of Pokemon always drive me nuts. It's like, come on, you can try harder. Mean Foo. So, like, they've gotten, they've gotten so desperate with names. Electrobuzz. Bruno, a trainer, a supporter. 
Uh, Pokemon got stupid because they have too many rarities. The better one is common, uncommon, rare, rare. Uh, yeah. Green code card equal poop pack. Oh, oh yeah, you told me that once before. All right, uh, Misha, I love that like you're right about that. Like, how are you right about that? Like, how is it that easy to know? It's crazy. I need to, dude, Ken, we need to do like a huge stream some night. Me and you, you on stream with me, ripping open Pokemon. We need to do that. Make that, let's make that happen. Let's make that happen. Uh, all right. Uh, Mishino. Ooh, this is good. This is good. This is like one of the things you're going for, right? Ur, Ur, Urshifu? Urshifu. Let's go. Let's go. Is this good? I think this is good, Sean. I think this is good. I think that was a really good pack. Is this good? Is this good? I think that was a good one. All right. Typical Louie, not knowing what he's pulling in Pokemon. Did we do it? That was a white coat and back. You want the V Max. Oh, okay. You want the V Max. Okay, but I got the V. So what's this one worth? Uh, another two there. Oh, whatever. I'm still excited for you, Sean. I'm still excited for you. Dang it. The artwork is pretty cool on these. I gotta say, like, it is kind of cool. Like, it looks like he's breaking the screen here, which is really cool. Um, all right, we got, oh, so it's gonna be poopy. It's gonna be poopy. And it's poopy. You're so smart. You're, Ken, we're doing that stream sometime. All right, so tell me, there's something special on these or are these all the same? Or is it, are these random? Uh, in these kits. I feel like there's something special in them, like an opportunity to get a card that you don't get other elsewhere. But maybe I'm just way wrong on that. Like this is the pre-release kit version of it, right? So is there gonna be something here at the end? Okay, Crobat? No, there's not. There's nothing special, huh? Okay. All right, uh, Sean, I feel like that wasn't super good, man. And I'm sorry, I wish it was better for you. I feel, like, I feel like we missed the mark there on the Pokemons. Uh, but hopefully your day is still blessed. Um, all right. Uh, we still got this uh, Elite Trainer Box here. Uh, boom. If anybody else wants an Elite Trainer Box, I have them on the website. I don't. I, I have no way of... I guess I can check over here to see if anybody ordered one while I was streaming. I should probably do that, huh? Um, but uh, if you want them to show on the website, we can do one more tonight. Or if you guys buy more, that's fine too. Uh, let me check to make sure nobody bought them before I keep going. Um, but Dan, we're going to do yours here. Sorry, guys. Oh, my back is killing me. Uh, those cards are for deck building and pre-release to go. Okay, so there's no special card in there. I thought there was some sort of special card. Uh, first edition, 325. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I think 300 is a pretty easy point where... Um, where it's like, it won't go under that one for a while. I, I've seen a lot of people say that they would buy anything. All right, this is for Dan K. All right, Dan. Uh, I do have, uh, we have three more of these available uh, that we can do at a later time, I guess, which is good with me. Um, Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box. I uh, hear these are pretty, pretty, pretty good boxes. Uh, So cool stuff. Ooh, is there some cool artwork in here? Oh, I love these things. Oh man, I wish I wish Flesh and Blood had something like this. Like a little 10 pack type thing. I think that would go a long way. Oh man, wait, yo. Let's look at the artwork. Oh, that's cool. Cool artwork. I love these things. The inside of these. Man, the artwork's pretty cool. It grows on me. It's pretty cool. It's very detailed. Uh, weekly, where's the weekly links on Patreon for the video and price tracker? Uh, I, I need to start doing a better job of posting this. The price tracker updates automatically. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is the Pokemon equipment to the magic bundle for sure. Uh, the price tracker updates automatically. I just need to do a better job of post, posting them, uh, posting the videos. Um, so I will, I will try to do that. Uh, all right, here we go. What do we get in this fancy little box? You get a little GTX. Oh, this is cool. Like if your Pokemon's alive or dead, I guess. These are high quality. Uh, some dice. Pretty cool. 
uh, some basic, you know, you got some dividers, which is cool, and some energy, which is fun, and then some, uh, some sleeves. I love that they do the sleeves. Uh, Masters can massacre and Pikachu combined play. All right, we got some sun and moon. Uh, we're looking for fire hits. What are the hits we're looking for, Ken? Let us know. Uh, what, you know, tell me what I'm looking for here. Uh, this is for Daniel K. Daniel, rooting for you, my friend. Appreciate you. You're welcome for the great work. I, I work hard. I'm, I, thank you for being a patron and supporting. Uh, Massacre and Pikachu on the same play map would be great. All right, Dan, didn't mean to give away your card there. Uh, here we go. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, Sandy Gas and a Crab, Crab, Crab in the bowl, crab o in the bowl, crab o in a bowl. Is that like a abominable crab? Is that what that's supposed to be? All right, I don't think we hit anything good there. It was a green pack. You were right. Anytime it's a green pack, it's not good. All right, Dan, come on, come on. Let's get something good. Uh, let's go. Come on. Yeah, I think under three hundred for monarch boxes is not going to happen. Maybe. T Oops, there's a code. Sorry, I didn't realize those are like so. Maybe two seventy five, but I. I doubt it. I really do doubt it. Uh, Riombi. Oh, a Tauros GX. I don't think Tauros is like the biggest one. I'm sure it's not. But a GX is good unless it's like, oh, we hit the thing and now it's not a good card. Uh, but those are cool. I, I think those are really cool cards. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. The foiling on that is pretty sweet. I, I can see how people would like this stuff and like want to collect some sort of really cool like version of it. Uh, I I know like Neil's like my eyes you're blinding me. I know I get it. But like imagine being a kid and pulling that like that that to me like makes a ton of sense uh, to be excited about. Uh, I don't know what those are worth though. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, I don't know. Uh, all right, keep going. Rainbow rares are one in 45 to 50 packs. Oh, sweet. So what, what's that worth, Ken? Uh, Rainbow rare, Espeon, Umbreon, and Lapras. Okay. So we missed those then, which probably means we won't hit another one. Uh, and a Primarina, prim, 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 uh, Tauros GXO. Pretty cool. Uh, is this the one where that, that, no, it must not be where the Pikachu one is, huh? Uh, these packs are harder to open than flesh and blood packs. All right. Come on, Daniel. Come on, buddy. Double colorless energy and an Incineroar. I know this guy from, uh, Smash Bros. Uh, that guy in Smash Bros is pretty sweet. Uh, pretty dang good in Smash Bros. Big fan. 12 to 15. All right. That's nice. Pretty good. Uh, these packs like stick together. Um, Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping stuff. Sorry, guys. Um, Pokemon is fun. Like, as an adult who was interested in Pokemon as a kid, it's pretty fun to see. Um, I'll keep showing these cards. Sorry. Uh, it's pretty fun to see Pokemon even as an adult. Uh, oh, Ilama and a Lantern. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to try to get some Vivid Voltage actually. Uh, here in a couple weeks, I've been working on trying to get some more Pokemon. Uh, just to do, I, I think it's, there's something to say about like a flesh and blood channel uh, tapping into some of the YouTube algorithms of the other collectible cards could help some people get into flesh and blood. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm. Uh, uh, that's kind of the heart behind why I'm trying to do some breaks like this. Crab bomb. I can't say it. And a Gigalith. There we go. Two rare foils. I don't think it really matters though. Um. Hidden Fates is the best modern Pokemon set. So they have the 25th anniversary is coming out in two sets, right? So that's what I'm really excited about. Oh, see, I thought I did that one opposite. All right, green card. Green card, gonna be nothing. Gonna be nothing, and it was nothing. All right, Daniel, last chance here. Thanks for letting me experience some Pokemon, my friend. Uh, let's see what we get here in the close. Uh, here we go. Team Skull Grunt and a Butterfree. Not the best. All right, Daniel, that's what you got coming to you. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think we have anything else to open. Let me double check to make sure nobody got anything else. I don't forget, but 
Uh, I think that's all we got to open. Thank you guys for hanging out on stream. I had a ton of fun. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. That's it. Nobody ordered anything. We'll, we'll lock it down. Uh, we'll we'll do another sun and moon maybe next week then. Uh, we'll keep that coming. Uh, we might have some other uh, uh, Pokemon stuff available. Uh, let me know if you are like a patron and you want access to something. Let me know and I can see what I can get. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, Ken, I do want to do, I think we can do a Pokemon stream. It'd be a lot of fun to learn. You can teach me some stuff. Um, I think it could be pretty cool. Uh, and anyway, uh, open first. I'm done, with any more I'm done with my monitor collection, man. You missed it early. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching the channel. Again, if you're looking to get into Flesh and Blood and you need free commons, head to cavdainsmarket.com. Search free commons in the thing. You just pay shipping. Uh, thank you guys uh, who did box openings. You guys allow me to be able to give those away. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys have a great day. And remember to be kind to the people around you.